today I'm going to be showing you how you can complete the new drift event in Car Dealership Tycoon. So the premise of this event is you have to get as many drift points as you can. Once you get enough drift points, you can unlock sick rewards. So make sure you stick to the end to find out how you can get them. Also, before I start, please like and subscribe. I'm nearing 100k. I already hit 70. Thank you very much. And um... <laughs> Welcome back to Car Dealership Tycoon. Ladies and gentlemen, we recently just had a CDT update. What the hell is that guy doing? We recently just had a CDT update where they've added a new drift event. Now, you're probably looking at these prices thinking, that's not the actual prices. Well, this UI is kind of outdated. You probably saw it in the trailer in the bottom left. It said, not official UI. So, these prices aren't going to be accurate to the real thing. But the event is the same. So, the aim of this event is to get as many drift points as possible. So you can unlock these rewards now these prizes are not the same so uh g g just kick these out of your head <laughs> but the first reward is a drift rx7 let me quickly take that out look at this and i've got the wrap on it which uh, is the reward after but this is the rx7 pro and it actually sounds amazing mate this sounds like an f1 car but the aim of this car obviously is to drift exactly like that now they've actually changed up the tire smoke so that it puts uh black stuff on the floor look at that what do you mean by that and the next reward after that is actually a wrap for this car here it is looks pretty cool you could just keep going keep going oh, i crap <laughs> and then the final reward you can get is none other than a drift lamborghini gallardo look at this thing this gallardo is insane look at all of the nuts and bolts <laughs> But that is the update. How can you actually get these cars fast? Because they're not actually that easy to get. You have to actually be good at drifting. So obviously the first step is to come over here to the drift race. And essentially what you have to do is you just have to get as many points as you can. I don't know how many drift points it's going to be. Like I said earlier, these prices are not final. But the premise is the same. You have to get a bunch of drift points. My drift car is this thing, the M3, although this doesn't actually exist anymore. You know what, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to use the new Gallardo. And actually, they did add a new limited. It's this thing. It's a Mustang Mach-E, um, just on steroids. Brother, what has happened here? This is not a family SUV. <laughs> it's still got four seats. Hang on a minute, I, I, need to, I need to take a look at this. Look at this, lads. Family SUV. Oh my god. What is this? What is this long thing? Is that... Is this a gear shifter? It's got an armrest. Might as well have like reclining seats. So that is a new Mac E. It is 3 million. Now there used to be a few glitches where you could literally get tens of thousands of points instantly. But they recently added a cap on how many points you can get. I think it's about 70,000 per race. And that is really hard to get just doing it normally. If you guys know of any glitches, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll go through them in a separate video. But I'm not too sure there are any left. So, for example, the helicopter glitch. I'm pretty sure that is patched. So, uh, that's off the table. I know there is a glitch where you essentially get your car on one of these stone barriers here and do a bunch of things on there. But I'm not sure that's been patched. I also don't know how to do it. But let me know in the comments what the best sort of drifting, grinding method is. Oh, and they also changed up the track a little bit. Ow. Yeah, th this is why I don't drift. Check this out. They actually changed up the track. They got rid of this little circular bit and made it connect with the track here, which I think is pretty good because that bit with the cones is basically pointless. I think let's just sit in this circle, just uh, getting points. Oh my god, I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. But look at that. 26,000 points is pretty good. Let me know in the comments what the most amount of points you've ever gotten in a drift race has ever been. I said ever way too many times there. Now, the majority of this game, I have to keep in mind, plays on phone. So, if you're on phone, um, good luck. <laughs> I don't get how people drift on phone. I could not drift on phone for my life, I'll be real. I tried it once, and I just fell miserably. Okay, let's see how many points we're gonna get. 29,000 points. Okay, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. If you wanna get good at drifting, it does take a lot of practice. Don't think you're gonna be Ken Block on the first try. Oh, look at that. Again, if you don't have a car that is rear-wheel drive, obviously, we recently added a drivetrain upgrade, so you can just make your car rear-wheel drive if you want to. But, uh, this car is insane at drifting. Oh, my goodness gracious. So let me know what you guys think of this car, and let me know if you guys managed to get the Gallardo. So, hey, just please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100k by the end of the year. I recently just hit 70, so thank you very much for that. Bye.